Welcome to Chugging Along, I'm Sam and I'm Tim and thank you so much for your comments on our last video where we chugged on the underrated Coventry Canal to the Greyhound Pub at Hawkesbury Junction. If you're new here we are doing a long narrowboat trip from Hurlston Junction to London and in this video our Coventry Canal adventure is coming to an end as we do a very tight turn onto the North Oxford Canal. You'll want to stick around in this video as we show you our rugby diaries and also we end at the busiest set of locks on the network, the dreaded Hill Morton Locks. But before we get into that, we'd like to give a shout out to Lonnie and Pam Hellman in Texas, who are the family game of our brand new canal board game, Argy Bargy. Thank you so much for sending your photo through to us. And if you'd like a copy of Argy Bargy, there's a link in the description below. Right, so let's get into today's cruise, where we knew we had to navigate the tightest junction turn we've ever done. Do I have the steering skills? Judging by my previous attempts, the odds were stacked against me. Here's a slow motion shot of Chuggles as promised. I chugged up to the junction full of nerves while Sam was getting a chugging along style drone shot. The turn at this junction is like a horseshoe and I think Tim did really well, which sadly isn't very good for clickbait. So we were now on the North Oxford Canal. We went through lock number one with ease because it's very shallow. This will be the only lock we do for miles and miles, which is always a treat and should increase our average speed, which we'll reveal later. This is us going under the M6 motorway. We were 
we're now travelling away from Coventry city centre, but you can see the skyline in the distance there. The Coventry Canal does of course make it all the way to the city centre. Look at this narrowboat. It has one of the most unique bows we've ever seen. It's like something out of the Jetsons. This is a really nice spot to have some farmer's field moorings. After a long day of cruising, we stopped just outside of Rugby, opposite Armada Boat Hire. Don't think they're actually owned by Shell though. The morning after, we chugged the remaining mile or so to Rugby. We moored just south of the New Bold Tunnel. We're excited to explore another large town, however the canal doesn't go through the town centre, so it was time to get the folding bikes out. Oh no. <laughs> but disaster struck, oh no. one of the tyres blew out, luckily we were already in town, so here or our rugby diaries.
We had a great time in rugby. It was now time to go over two aqueducts, the Browns over Aqueduct and the River Avon Aqueduct. We were then greeted with this fantastic mural under a bridge. The people in rugby seem really sporty for some reason. We then passed the boat Denby Rose, which belongs to Bob and Maria, who gifted us a bottle of sherry in Ellesmere. They always make sure to shout out, keep chugging, when we pass by. We scored a hat-trick of aqueducts leaving rugby. Here's the Clifton Aqueduct. Look at this naked boat shell that's about to become someone's pride and joy. We love this spiderweb style footbridge next to Bridge 66. Bridge number 66A looks brand new. After hearing the satisfying putt of a traditional engine, we made it to the busiest locks in the country. Hill Morton. But let's not slow down our average speed. We'll end this vlog here. So that concludes today's cruise. So it's over to you, Tim, for those all important cruising statistics. Mm -hmm. We're expecting some impressive numbers here. Oh God, right, here we go then. <laughs> so over three days cruising, we did 15 miles and just the one lock. And that was all in 7.5 hours, thus giving us an average speed of two miles an hour, which is the first time we've hit over two miles an hour on this trip to London. That now brings our trip average up to 1.47 miles an hour. We're getting very close to that target speed of 1.5 miles an hour. And that now means we've done 111 out of the 205 miles to London, which means we're over halfway there. So join us next week as we go through the Braunston Tunnel and back to where it all started for us, Walton Marina, where we bought Marielle and did our terrifying first test cruise. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. And remember, no matter what you do in life, you've got to keep chugging.